Hey, what's up guys? I got some brand new secret information that I can't share with you, but I have made my own examples to show uh, just exactly what the TOK gods are looking at to give out those dreaded failing grades. And remember, if you fail TOK, you don't get your diploma. So this is called get an A in TOK. I don't want you to get an E. So um, I'm gonna show you three things that you need to know so that you don't fail TOK. Get an A in TOK. Now, before we get started, I just wanna let you know, if you're watching this video, it might be because you're afraid of failing. So I got two ways to help you out. First of all, if you look in the description, there are links that, I got something in my eye. Oh no, that was weird. There are links to um, organizers and resources that will help you out. And then secondly, if you go to fiverr.com slash Pat freaking Jones, that's me, Pat freaking Jones. Um, I will tutor you, I will help you out. I'll make movies like this just for your viewing. I can Zoom with you. I talk with people all around the world. Uh, pretty much every day. And so uh, I would love to help you out. All right, let, 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 let's figure this out. So the first point is this, if you want to fail, you describe everything. So what I'm gonna do is give an example of a failing level response in the essay and in the exhibition. So check this out. This is a um, just horribly descriptive TOK essay response. I made this as a descriptive response to this prompt. How do historians and human scientists give us knowledge, give knowledge meaning through the telling of stories discussed with reference to the history and the human sciences? Um, this might kind of connect with the prompt, but it's just describing. The evidence is actually really good, but it just doesn't work, check this out. Psychologists do studies of what happens in the brain. They hand out surveys, study participants, do interviews, and sometimes set up elaborate research projects to see how people behave. One of the most controversial studies of all time was the Stanford Prison Experiment, in which Zimbardo selected people at Stanford University to pretend to either be prisoners or prison guards. This was controversial because the prison guards revolted against the abuse of the prison guards. There was there were threats of suicide, reports of violence, and after just doing after just a few days, Zimbardo's girlfriend, among others, pressured him to end the experiment. Though Zimbardo occasioned upon this scientifically, there are many things that we still don't know about the experiment, those involved, and humans in general. Okay, so all this did here was summarize the evidence. If this was the first half of your paragraph, this might work. It's not really about stories that much at all, but as long as you're just describing what happened, you're telling about the things that occurred, it's always gonna fail. Let's take a look at an exhibition response that would fail. So I actually love this object for a TOK exhibition and it could totally work with this, but this is just descriptive and I have seen these before. I actually failed someone on Friday. If you go to my school, it might be you. No, I'm just kidding, it's not you. That person did not watch any of these videos and they just described in one paragraph and this is something that they turned in and I am confident that it was a failing score because um, the IB has sent out some failing scores to people like me and um, this is what it might look like. So this is a box score, I love baseball. And um, here's a very descriptive ex uh, response. So what counts as good evidence for a claim? This is a box score from a baseball game that happened between the, boss, the Red Sox and the Athletics in 1846. It is one of the oldest box scores on record. I don't know, I just took it from Wikipedia because I'm trying to really embrace the, the failure here. Box scores show who won the game and display the stats of each character. For example, the numbers under the T, right there, show how many times they had at bats. This is now abbreviated as AB in today's box scores. Like, who cares? So, for example, G. Wright, the shortstop, had six at bats and scored four runs. This is actually quite good. <laughs> this is terrible. Box scores used to be published by newspapers in the 1800s, but now you can get them on the official MLB app as well. They can be found everywhere now, so I trust that when I see a box score, it is good evidence that the game was won by the team that the box score indicates. Okay, first of all, very little discussion of the keyword there, which is evidence. I say it's good evidence, but I don't say why. I'm just describing what the object is. This is um, basically exactly what the IB sent us when they're showing us what um, failures are. It's completely descriptive. Then one really bad, almost ignorant sentence that just claims this is about the prompt, but it's, but, it, but it's really not. So yeah, this is how you can fail by describing everything. The second way to fail TOK is don't write about the prompt. I actually had to bust somebody for this last year. It was really bad. So if we're looking at within an area of knowledge, is it more important to have credibility or power? Discuss with reference to the natural sciences and one other AOK. -okay. Here's an example, and you'll, you'll get it really quickly, of someone who didn't write about the prompt. In the AOK -okay of the arts, I'll make so you can see the prompt, artists often have the power 
to choose to define the meaning of their artwork. The art installation My Bed by Tracy Amin was created by the artist to demonstrate the effects of de depression and isolation. The work is nothing more than Amin's messy bed and the things that were on the floor at the time in which she got the idea for the artwork. Essentially, she moved her apartment into the art gallery and called it art. So this is super descriptive. Many people thought it wasn't art, but many people did. Now, here's my thoughts, but they're not on the prompt. What most people did not understand, however, was that at the time, Amin was struggling from severe typo mental health issues. She created the art, if it can be called that, after laying in bed for four days and only drinking alcohol. When she woke up, she saw what she had created she had the power to call this art, though many people, me included, rejected this. This artwork not only relies on the power of the artist to define it, but the artist has, has to use her power to say whether or not it is art at all. Therefore, power is an important part of the AOK -okay of the arts. So we're talking about power, but not at all what the prompt is asking, whether power is more important than credibility, we're, we're, we're topical, we're talking about art. Okay, and then for the exhibition, don't write about the prompt, check this out. What is the relationship between personal experience and knowledge? This is my favorite Yeti cup. It was given to me by my mother and I use it every day to drink sunny orange ginger tea. That's true. Though I know that my mom gave me this cup, some people might not think that she gave it to me. They might say that I bought it for myself. I remember my mom buying it for me. I have specific memories that are agreed upon by my mother. She would also claim that she bought it for me. If you needed more evidence, my mother's receipt can verify her knowledge that she bought it on the day that I claimed she did. The personal knowledge of my mother and I both prove that the cup belongs to me and was purchased by my mother. Um, very, very minimally discussing knowledge in general. We, we, we talk about justification, we talk about memory, but, but it's not talking about knowledge. And so this doesn't work at all because it honestly, and that's why I chose it, feels like a different prompt. What counts as good evidence for a claim? And so this is not applying to the prompt at all. And um, you, you can see how maybe they're talking about personal experience, but it just doesn't work at all. Again, most people won't write something this bad, but if you do, you can plan on failing. Okay, so the good news is I have a really good last point and that is that it's hard to fail. If you look at the rubric, which um, you, you always should do, uh, let me just show you that the essay rubric here, um, the essay rubric, if you are superficial, which is not a good thing, but if you are superficial, you're still going to score on the basic, which is passing. Even if it's <laughs> largely descriptive, it's still passing. Um, even if you are unclear, it's still passing. This is the area that is borderline failing. So even if you have examples, but they're not effective, you're still probably gonna be okay, all right? So just don't describe and make sure that you're writing on the prompt. And here's the exhibition rubric. Um, you identify objects and they may not even be good, but as long as you've identified the objects, you're all right. Um, here's what, what's important. Um, if it's simplistic, limited, and underdeveloped, you're still in the basic, the basic descriptors. Um, if you're making basic links between the object and the selected prompt, so you still got it about the prompt, but it's just at a very basic level, guess what? You're gonna pass, and here's why. Last year, the, the boundary for passing in TOK was just five points. So if you're doubling the score of your essay, which is how you score it, if you score a two on your essay, and just a one on your exhibition, you can pretty much count on passing, okay? So the big lesson of this video is stop stressing out. The, the, the standard for passing TOK okay is very low. Now the standard for getting an A is actually very high, but as long as you are in this basic area right here, you're gonna pass, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna go to university, you're gonna make a million dollars. No, you're not gonna make a million dollars if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. But yeah, if you just take a look here, the descriptors, it's okay you're gonna be fine. Reasons for the inclusion of the objects are offered, but they're not supported, that's okay. As long as you've got some reasoning, which means you're not just descriptive and you're talking about the prompt, all right? My camera's dying, I'm just gonna stop there, but I just wanted to say, it's not hard to pass TOK. Get in touch with me, I'll help you out. I hope TOK sucks a little bit less. I'll see you next time.